Hello, I'm overdue for another boat video, so here we go, just the updates. Hoping to launch within the next month or so. Um, pretty much everything is installed except for some of the little details. Bow tubes installed, ready to, to lace in the netting, which I have, but of course I don't want that to get dirty so it won't be laced in until we launch the boat. But it's got the cable that runs through here that holds the netting in place. And it ties in also these sail tracks. Got the deck painted with anti-slip. Got the railing system installed. Uh, you can see over there there's a hatch cover. Don't have it installed in this one yet, but it sits right here. It's just been taken out for easy access. Uh, we've got these hatches finished. That's for fenders and other storage. This one for anchor chain and an anchor. Same thing on the other side of the boat. Uh, this is the boarding ladder. It's completed. Right now it's in the down position. We use it to get up and down on the boat. Uh, the painting of the side there, you can see the blue and the bottom paint. It's all finished. Uh, this is where the mast will go. That wood is a piece of template for the mast base. Uh, once the boat launched, the rigger will install the mast. The hardware for controlling the, the jib sails installed. Um, the interior of the boat's probably not changed much. Still have not made mahogany bar top. That'll probably be the last thing that I do. Uh, some of the details are finished, like the locks holding mechanism, oops, locks and holding mechanism for the electrical panel. A little hard to do with one hand, but closes and latches. Uh, today, I'm going to be installing all the sailboat winches, which get installed here for the captain. And the keyhole there is where the helm wheel gets mounted. It's on the shop bench right now, having all the hydraulic plumbing fittings attached to it. And have the uh, boat registered now in the state of Texas, so it's titled and licensed. And one of the, the big projects that just got finished was the mounting of the motors. They're not completely hooked up. Right now, the motors are mounted, but the hoisting mechanism, which will use that winch over there, is not installed. But that's the motor in an up position. That's the motor in the down position. And you can see one of the rudder boxes. It's a kick-up rudder. So the hydraulic lines there are what control the, the rudder position. See it's less kicked up over on that side of the boat. Um, so still to go is installing all the hydraulic system for the rudders, finishing the motor mounts, and installing some of the last bits of hardware. And the mahogany bar top. Take a quick look inside. The painting is finished. Uh, the chain plate there, which holds the sail uh, shroud, is complete. Um, and the toilet's ready to be installed. It just isn't installed completely because it makes it difficult to get in the back section by the rudder. So it'll be one of the last things that gets finished and installed. Here's just another view of the boat looking down here below. Uh, see the paints all done. Uh, the bow stairs, those, those are on pins and they hinge up and get pinned in place when you're not using them to get into the water. Uh, just taking a look at the paint here. Here's a rear look at the engines and rudders, motor mounts. So again, this one's in the up position while you're sailing. This one would be in the down position while you're motoring. 
and my friend John Speakerman designed these motor mounts and swing arms. So it's big uh, four inch schedule 40 pipe and it's on pins. This whole thing gets rotated up and down to go from the up to the down position. And then the rudder, you know, it's in this box, so if you hit something, it swings up. But it, in the down position, there's a pin that goes from here into the box. And the pin would shear if you hit something stronger than the, uh, the pin. And inside is all the uh, mechanism for turning the boat. With the exception in the I don't have the hydraulic ram in there. It's ready to be mounted once we get all the hydraulic fittings connected to it. Uh, well, that's it for now. Hopefully the next time you see it, it'll be uh, on the road and in the water. Until then, have a great day.